Hello kids, good morning. Welcome to our English online classes. Okay, so hope you all are doing well and you are enjoying your online classes and studying your portions daily, right? So it's a very rainy day, right? <laughs> uh, so don't go outside, okay? So this cold fever is common now. So don't go outside, be safe, okay my dear kids? Okay. So be at your home and do your works properly. Okay. So in our last class we have completed a supplementary reader first unit, right? I think you know and uh, you, do you all read it from your book? I give the page number, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I think you all read it and you all know the meanings of difficult words, right? Okay, so in our honeydew book, we have completed two units and I think uh, you have studied it. But uh, I am very much disappointed because you are not sending your snapshots. Okay, very few of you have written it in your note and you have sent your snapshot. Please don't forget it. Write it on your note and send me the snapshot. Okay, okay. So, uh, today we are going to our new section that is grammar okay so i think you are very much interested in grammar uh, i think my voice is audible to you because it's a heavy rain and it's raining i think you can hear me okay okay so we are going to study about grammar today uh, i hope you all have a book named the new grammar tree right yeah you all have you may all have, all have uh, got this book right the new grammar tree so today we are going to study from that book okay and now we can open your grammar book okay so the first part we are going to study about uh, nouns okay so today we are going to study about nouns and I think you all know about nouns because you are studying from your maybe from fourth, right? So from fourth itself, you are you all will study nouns, and I think you all know about nouns, right? Okay. So what is a noun? Uh, so do we remember what is noun? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you. Okay. So noun. So this is noun. So I have given you cat, boy, house, flowers. Okay. So, noun means nothing, name of a person, place or a thing. So, he is a boy, it's a name. This is a cat, it's a name, naming word. House, this is a naming word. Flowers, this is a naming word. Uh, then Jimmy, uh, Rajesh, uh, Zuresh, then Daisy, Jasmine, whatever it may be. So, naming words is noun. Okay. So, next we are going to study about types of nouns so i have already told you about nouns so noun means name of a person place or a thing right okay so there are seven types of nouns okay let us see what are they so this is proper noun common noun collective noun material noun countable noun uncountable noun and compound nouns so these are the seven types of nouns. Repeat along with me. Proper noun, common noun, collective noun, material noun, countable noun, uncountable noun and compound noun. So we are going to study what is meant by proper, common, collective, material, countable, uncountable and compound. Okay. So are you all ready? Shall we start? Okay. So the first we are going to study is about proper noun okay so proper noun means nothing but it's a name of a particular place or person so uh, particularly we are saying about the name uh, for example see Chennai so particularly to particular place we used to say it's a particular place right Chennai is a particular place so this is proper noun and gym we are referring to a boy particularly and saying his name okay already i have told you noun means name of a person place or thing so here jim is a person and particularly we are pointing out one boy and saying his name is jim so this is proper noun 
so you have to keep in more mind a proper noun means a uh, name of a particular place or persons particularly we are saying about one place or one person then it is proper noun so proper noun we have to always start with capital letter okay so even uh, we are when you are writing your names you used to start with capital letter right yeah then about any place you used to uh, write in capital letter so proper noun always starts with capital letters okay okay shall we move to the next one yes so then it's common noun so proper means i have told you saying about a particular person or a thing uh now it's a common noun means a person or a thing of same kind okay so we are saying about a same kind of person or a thing so person or things of a same kind on particular kind commonly we are saying so some examples are here girl dog cat i am given only i have given only few examples so girl means uh, normally for all female kids we used to say as girls right so uh, to that category female kids category we used to say it as girl right and female uh, uh, sorry male category then we used to say it's boy so commonly we are uh, telling about all girl and commonly about that particular gender so dog means so there are many varieties of dogs and commonly we are saying everything is a dog and there are many varieties of cat and commonly we are saying the name is cat okay do you understand boy men women so commonly we are saying right so that is common noun okay girl dog cat so for example i have given so common noun means person or things of same kind okay do you understand no doubts right okay so let's move to the next one sorry so this common noun is divided into two okay so common noun means i have already told you commonly saying something right so common noun this is divided into two there is concrete nouns and abstract noun you have to keep in your mind already the noun is divided into seven right what are they Com uh, proper common collective material countable com uh, uncountable and compound right so we have studied so this common noun is further divided into two there is concrete nouns and abstract noun so what is that we can see here so first we are studying about concrete noun so concrete noun means things we can see touch and feel okay so the things that we can see with our own eyes we can touch and we can feel that is concrete noun so that is uh, which we can see and touch or feel okay so that's concrete noun for example see the girl look took the dog for a walk and it comes out of which category concrete noun why why because we can see right we can see touch and feel we can see with our own eyes we can see a girl right okay so that's why it's concrete noun and took the dog for a walk so this dog is also a common noun so commonly for all dogs we used to say as dog and this is concrete why why because we can see right we can touch we can feel it okay so that's why why it is concrete noun okay so this concrete noun comes under common noun so only the common noun words which we can see touch or feel is concrete noun uh, can you get me what i'm saying yes right okay we can go to the next one that is abstract noun so concrete means one which we can touch feel or um, we can see right so but abstract noun means things which we cannot touch or see we cannot touch or see so for example it's like feelings right so this things comes under this abstract noun so abstract nouns uh, uh it may be the names of a quality state or a concept okay so giving a particular idea or something like that so some words like a, a bravery love beauty charity those so, uh, love beauty charity only we can feel it okay so charity yeah that's a feel it's a concept okay so this comes under abstract noun okay so it's bravery love uh beauty charity and there are some other words too okay so these all things which comes under abstract noun this is not a proper thing okay this is a feeling bravery is a kind of a feeling okay so being brave right so love beauty we can see the man who have bravery but not that brave okay so that is bravery love beauty charity these are some examples of abstract nouns okay okay next 
Okay, now we are going to collective nouns. So the word itself you can understand, right? Collective, that is a uh, collection of something, right? So collective nouns. Nouns means name of a person. So collection of some persons or place or things. That's collective nouns. Okay, so collective noun means a collection or group of people or things of a same kind. Okay, not of different kind. Collection or group of people of a same kind. Okay, of one kind. Okay, so for example, we can see class. So class means a, yeah, which we are able to count, right? Okay, so count things we can count using numbers. Yeah, by numbers we can count. Okay, we we are able to count it. Okay, so that's countable now. For example, three men. Yeah, if there is three men standing there, we can say one, two, three. We can count, right? Then example, year car. Year car means one car only. Okay, year is given. No, so it's one car. So okay, one car. So you can count. Uh, then what we can say, uh, I have five pens. So you can count one, two, three, four, five. You can count. You are able to count a small amount of numbers, right? So this comes under countable nouns, okay? And the next we are going to see about uncountable nouns. So uncountable means we are not able to count it. That is uncountable nouns, okay? Can you get me? Yes. Things we cannot count using numbers. We can't count using numbers. It may take so long time and we cannot count it. Maximum, uh, we cannot count. Okay, it would be like that. For example, you can say sand. Can you count sand? No, right? It's very difficult and we can't count it. And then stars. Can you count stars? No, right? You are not able to count stars, right? And then sugar. Are you able to count sugar? No, right? It's impossible, right? It's very small and we cannot count. So, these things come under uncountable nouns. Okay? Okay. The next one, we are going to see compound nouns. So, have you heard about compound words? I think you might have studied compound words, right? Yeah. So, compound means nothing but words made up of two or more existing words. So, words which is made up of two or more words. Uh, then it is compound uh, words or compound nouns. For example, see here, blackboard. So, this black is one word and board is another word. So, so these two words are combined together to form a new word. It's an object, right? It's a thing, blackboard. So, this is compound noun. And see here, washing machine. Washing is one word and machine is other word. And these two uh, words uh, together, they form a one word, a noun. Washing machine is an object, it's a thing, right? So, this is a compound noun. With the help of two words, a single word is formed. Okay. Then armchair. Arm is different word and chair is another one word. And this two combine together to form a new word armchair which is a thing. And it comes under compound nouns. I think you understood, right? Okay. Okay. So, this is about today's portion. And I'll just once again say what are the things we studied. We studied about what is noun, right? Yeah, we studied about noun. And in noun, we studied about seven types, right? What are they? Proper noun, common noun, collective, compound, material, countable, and uncountable. So, proper noun means particularly about uh, one thing we are saying. Particularly maybe place, maybe Chennai or a name of a person, then it's proper noun and common noun means we are saying about a group right so that is common noun and a collective sorry uh, yeah one kind okay common means one kind maybe like dog like that and collective means collection of one kind that is a uh, herd of sheep uh, flock of uh, what's a flock of birds a uh, pack of wolves like that that's collective noun and the compound noun means as we have studied now right this is a compound noun and uh, material noun means materials like gold, silver, okay, the material which is used for making other materials. And then for countable, which we can count and uncountable, which we cannot count. And in common noun, we studied about two types, that is uh, concrete noun and abstract noun. So concrete noun means which we can see or touch, right? Uh, yeah, we studied and then abstract noun, for abstract noun, we cannot uh, touch or uh, see, okay? So, the only the feeling, there is a quality state or a concept, maybe like bravery, charity, love, kindness, yeah, these things, so kind, okay, so these are the things we study, right, okay, now it's your time and you have to do your work, so I'll, I'm giving you works, okay, 
so the first work i have to give is in your page number 7 okay page number 7 if you take first a section it's given underline the nouns in the following sentences okay there are 10 questions and i know you all know about nouns right so you have to underline the nouns of the sentences okay you all grown up and i think you all know what is noun and i have taught you right now okay so you have to underline i just don't want to give any examples because you know what is noun right okay now you can take page number nine okay so page number b section c section is given so b section pick out the nouns in the sentences below and say what kind they are okay okay uh, let me tell you what is it uh, so first what you have to do is you have to find the nouns okay so here the word ship is a noun crew is a noun okay the ship and crew is a noun so which kind of noun so this uh, ship is a uh, noun which kind concrete noun why it is concrete so it's a common noun ship means together we will say every ship is a ship right so ship so it comes under common noun and in common noun we studied if we can feel touch or see then it is concrete and if we cannot touch it is abstract so the ship comes under common noun and it can be felt seen through our eyes we can touch it right so this is concrete noun and crew crew means people's working together so this comes under collective nouns okay do you understand okay this is one example and the second example the height of mount everest is 8848 meters okay so here what are the nouns height is the noun mount everest is a noun and meters is a noun so uh, this is height so commonly we used to say which is a high uh, somewhat high means then it is height so there is abstract noun so mount everest particularly we are saying about one mount so it is proper noun and meter commonly uh, it's a uh, uh, given and we cannot uh, we can feel it because this much meter is there so it's an abstract noun okay so i am giving you two examples and uh, uh, you have to follow the remaining okay so the remaining part you have to complete and send me the snapshot okay 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 so the next section yeah here there is a dash for an account at this farm in bracket they have given brackets so what is the question fill in the blanks with the nouns formed from the words given in brackets so the, in brackets there are few words given and you have to form a word, a noun words, okay? So, this word back, vacant. So, this vacant, this word is an adjective, okay? So, you all know adjective, I think so. So, if you have studied properly about parts of speech, then you can understand. So, this vacant, this word is an uh, adjective. So, adjective means which is a qualifying a noun, right? So, if you are saying about a space, then uh, this is vacant space, unoccupied space. So, giving information about the space, that is vacant. Or giving about... Uh, the noun information about the noun then it is vacant so we are want to say change it as a noun so this vacant this word is an adjective but we have to fill this uh, uh, blank with uh, noun words so the noun word for this vacant is vacancy okay so the answer is vacancy there is a vacancy for an account at this form okay okay then the next only fools are softened by dash flatter in the bracket they have given flatter uh, so this word flatter is a verb and for noun form this is flattery okay so the noun form of this word flatter is flattery so the answer is only fools are softened softened by flattery okay so this is a noun so i think uh, it will be somewhat confusing for you uh, don't worry so when you use uh, when you talk uh, uh, talk okay when you are continuously you are talking in English and you are knowing such situation and talking then you may know uh, you can understand what is it okay so now uh, for filling this uh, uh, you have to what you have to do is so if you have doubt you have to take uh, the dictionary and you have to see the meaning of the word for example vacant so this vacant this word is given so you have to find in the dictionary whether it's adjective or verb or something okay so you just find it and find the noun form of, of it and write just i have given you the example for it okay okay i think you all understood right okay uh now in the next page also you have one verb that is 
yeah that is sort the underlined nouns of the following conversation and list them in the appropriate columns below so uh, they have given a passage and they have underlined certain words right so you have to find whether it is a proper noun concrete noun abstract noun collective noun material noun right so riya so riya is a particular word for a, a particular name of a girl so it comes in a proper noun likewise how to mark it everything in your book okay i think you have all understood it and you all know what is noun okay so you have to complete uh, all the exercises that is a b c d all this four section and you have to send me the snapshot okay don't forget anyway thank you so much for your patient listening so we can meet on our next class thank you students thank you so much bye bye